In this video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my home studio as of December 2022. Alright, so this is the room that I've filmed every single one of my videos ever since starting my YouTube channel. And for your convenience today, I will leave all the links to all of my equipment in the description below. So for acoustic treatment, I have placed some carpet on the floors and acoustic panels and bass traps on the walls. But now let's move on to the desk itself. So this is actually an IKEA hack desk and the way that you can get one just like this is by purchasing the Carl B countertop and then two Alex drawers. And I have made some modifications to this desk by installing this cup holder so I don't get any water marks on the wood. And beneath the desk I've placed a power strip and a cable management tray to keep all my cables organized and out of sight. On top of the desk, these are the Kali Audio LP6's studio monitors. These are very reliable, especially when it comes to mixing. Not to mention they're very easy to set up, and so I definitely recommend these for beginners. Next, I have my Nintendo Switch here, and I know nothing to do with music production, but I'm a huge fan of Nintendo and of Pokemon. Moving on, this is my main workstation, which is the MacBook Pro 14 inch with the M1 Pro chip. And this is the base model, but unfortunately I did run out of storage. And so I decided to buy two external SSDs made by Samsung. And this way I keep my computer running smoothly and save all my projects outside of the computer. On the middle of the desk I have a ViewSonic 27 inch monitor and I really love that it's color calibrated and not to mention it also serves as a power supply for my computer so I can work from it and charge it at the same time which is very convenient. In front of the monitor this is the M Audio KeyStation 49 and this mini keyboard doesn't have any bells and whistles to it but it does allow me to play around with some sounds inside of Logic Pro in case I want to create some beats or piano parts and even synths. In front of it, these are the Logitech MX keys, and I don't know if you can see this on the screen because it's pretty bright, but it does light up in the dark in case you're into that. But my favorite feature is that you can select between your computers with a touch of a button, so you don't need any wires, which makes this very useful. To the right of the keyboard, this is the Apple Magic Mouse. And moving on, this is my favorite audio interface of all time, which is the Apollo Twin X. And I know that this is not a cheap piece of gear, but I definitely think it's worth the investment in my humble opinion. It just makes the recording process very easy, not to mention that all of the plugins included just sound fantastic and I use them in every single one of my productions. Now let me show you my mic locker. This is the Neumann TLM-102 condenser microphone and I've used this mic on every single one of my talking head videos. These right here are my favorite budget condenser microphones, the Rode NT1, the Lewitt LCT440 Pure and the Aston Origin. I have made reviews on all three microphones and I'll leave that playlist here on the screen in case you want to hear how they sound. And on the side, these are the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro headphones. These are very comfortable to wear over long periods of time, and I even use them for mixing. But now let's move over to the other side so I can show you my guitar collection. But before I do, if you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So the first guitar on my collection is the Martin DRSG Acoustic and pretty much every single song that I've released here on YouTube and on Spotify have all been recorded through this guitar. I think it just sounds great, it feels great to play and it's just a workhorse. Up next, this is my Fender Player Series Stratocaster and I do prefer strats that come with two single coils and one humbucker configuration because I find that it gives me more flexibility when playing live and especially in the studio. It just feels great to play and it just sounds awesome. And last but certainly not least, this is my Gibson Les Paul Classic Gold Top guitar. I've owned it for many many years and it just has a great tone to it. I feel like it's great for both playing live and especially in the studio. It always came through for me and it just has that classic Les Paul tone. Even though it's fun to have some really nice equipment, the quality of your recordings doesn't rely just on the gear itself. And if you're trying to record in a completely empty room, you're not doing yourself any favors. So if you want to learn how to acoustically treat your room on a budget, then make sure to click on this video.